Hey guys, this is Cheddar again, and today I want to go over the 74141 IC chip with you. Um, looks exactly like the shift register IC chip. If you didn't see that video, take go back, uh, take a step back, and go watch it. Um, essentially, this is your um, 74141 chip, and if you Google 74141 chip schematic, you'll get this um, this picture, and you can get the website. Got a lot of good information on there, and so essentially. This thing works in, the, uh, a lot of, in a lot of the same ways the shift register does, except instead of having three inputs, it's got four. And what this chip's going to do is, depending on what you set your inputs on, it'll make a digital or it'll make a number display on the Nexi 2. So, essentially, what we're going to do is, I don't have the step up chip for a Nexi 2, so we're just going to run it with LEDs. And what we're going to do is, on all of our outputs, you can see here uh, the four different sections of them. We're going to run the negative side of an LED into that pin and then run the positive side to a 3.5 volt power rail. And so whereas with the shift register, we did this in a fashion of running the positive volt or the positive side into the chip, then use the shift register to manipulate where those positive volts were going into an LED and then into ground, we're going to, we're going to ground out the LED depending on you know what output we decide to choose based on our inputs so <clears throat> essentially just a quick uh, run through the chip and don't worry about this middle bit that's just the schematic but all we're really worried about is this outside bit uh, pins 1 and 2 are outputs for uh, numbers 8 and 9 pins 3, 4, 6 and 7 are your inputs A, D, B and C pin 5 is your 5 volt logic VCC pin 8 is the number 2 output Pins 9 to 11 are numbers 3, 7, and 6. 12 is ground, and pins 13 to 16 are outputs 0, 1, 5, and 4. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is, is just build a quick circuit with LEDs and make it count from 0 to 9. Um, also, on the website that I got this picture from, there's this table, which is pretty cool, and it I think it really makes a, uh, it, it shows you a lot from a logical side of things, and an easy way to understand what we're trying to do. So we remember we have these four inputs here, A, D, B, and C, and we have zeros and ones in this table. So if you send a low signal that's a zero, you send a high signal that's a one. So for example, if we set all of our pins to low, we're going to get the number zero. If we set, say, pin D to low and pin C, B, and A to high, we're going to get the number seven. And then there are six... Um, ways you can put these bits together that don't do anything and that's just because you can you know put binary bits upon four pins in x amount of ways and so there's six ways it happens to not uh to not put anything out as far as the number goes and so here's the circuit we're going to take a look at um you can see here this chip matches the way this that i've got on my uh, circuit here it matches the way it is on this paper so this top right light here is going to be zero. The next one down is one, and then you get this cluster of them because I don't have enough room on my board to actually put them in a straight line. But we'll still see the um, the end example of what's going on with that. And so for my power rail, I've got it run into a 3.3 volt output on my um, Adreno, and then I've got the VCC of the chip plugged straight into five volts for it, for its power. And I'm going to let this thing run, show you guys it running, and then I'm going to jump on the laptop. We're going to take a quick step to the code because it's very simple, and we're going to look at how to uh, to run these, to make these numbers appear via uh, using the shift register. All right, so we've got everything plugged in here, and I rewatched the video that I just made for the first portion of this video. I don't think I stressed it enough that you need to run the negative side of these LEDs into the chip and the positive side to a positive power rail. Don't put the positive side of the LED into the into the IC chip or connected to that pin. That's not how this thing works. So just know that. I don't think any bad would happen if you did it, but it definitely wouldn't work. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we were looking at uh, this schematic here. If I can scoot on over here so you guys can see it better so you see you know you've got zero one five four six seven three down the side here and on the other side you know you've got eight nine and two so right now there's eight nine it's going to do zero one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, and back to zero. So that's that's as simple as it gets. And like I was saying, make sure these things, these seven four one four ones, are meant to ground a specific pin out. Um, when you hook LEDs into it, I don't think it matters. But if you hook a Nixie tube onto this thing while it is um, while it's running, and turn all that on. You know, if you are trying to push a positive 175 volts through this chip for some reason, I don't know why you would do that. It would, I mean, unless you were really confused. I don't even know how you can set that schematic up. It will fry that thing before you, I mean, as soon as you turn it on. So be aware of that. But, uh, so now that you can see how this works, just instead of imagining an LED, you know, at each spot, you've got, you know, a wire for each LED that comes, all of them come up into one of the, you know, to a, essentially a, a part of the Nixie tube. So, like, if you want to have a zero on your Nixie tube, you would remove this LED, take a wire, and run that to the zero pin on your Nixie tube. For one, you would remove that LED, plug a wire in, and run that wire to the to that corresponding pin leg on the Nixie tube. And with, by doing that, you know, you're going to, um, you're going to get uh, that digit to appear. And I'm probably going to post a video I made a long time ago of that um, for the Instructable as this. But anyways, let's jump in the code real quick and uh, take a look at it. It's really simple, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Alrighty, guys, so here's the code real quick. So up here at the top, we have our setup. You can see all we're doing is declaring our pins on this side. We're declaring that they are outputs. And then we're declaring, well, we're commenting in which pin is which just so we can keep track. So pin 8 is the A input, pin 9 is the B input, pin T is the C input, and pin 11 is the D input. Um, and then down here we just have each number. So at the top you can see we have number 0. Uh, if you remember, we that's when you set all your pins to low. So you can see here A is set to low, B is set to low, C low, D low as well. Then we're going to wait for a second and then we're going to go to the number 1. And all I've done is just taken that table and programmed it in here. So depending on, you know, here for the number two, we've got pins D and C set to low, pin B set to high, and pin A set to low, and that'll, that'll display the digit two, or in this case, the LED corresponding to that pin. 